students today are going to draw Supergirl. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We hope you're going to follow along with us. Now, today is also what day? Monday. Yeah, Monday. So that means we're going to do what? Show your art. Yeah, we're going to show your art, and we're also going to feature two awesome artists to give you $20 to buy more art supplies. Now, we're going to do that at the end of the video, so be sure to stay till the very end. End. You ready to start? Yeah. Okay. We're going to start by drawing Supergirl's eyes, and we're going to draw two circles. We're going to draw, and I'm not going to draw them too big. We're going to draw them right here in the middle of our paper. Yeah. And then another one. Okay, now in the top right, let's draw smaller circles inside. And then even smaller circles down here in the bottom left. So small. So small. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to color in the big circle and leave the two little circles white. Okay. Now we're going to draw her eyelashes or the top of her eyes first. We're going to draw a little curve that goes over each side. Now I'm going to make these a little thicker. I'm going to draw another line on top. Then we can draw her eyelashes. I'm going to draw three little lines sticking out the top. And on this eye. Little eyelashes. Rule number one. Always add eyelashes. Always add eyelashes. <laughs> now we can draw a little line on the bottom of her eye. We did it. We finished her eyes. Now let's draw her nose. We we'll draw a little U in between her eyes. It looks like a little smiley face. It does. <laughs> but let's draw let's draw her mouth down here a little further. I'm going to draw it kind of off to the side. Yeah, good job. Now we can draw her face. We're going to draw the shape of her head. We're going to start over here by her eye, come down, and then back up on the other side. Good. Okay, now let's draw part of her hair. We're going to start right here and we're going to draw an S line that connects to the side. So I'm going to go up, down, and then curve the other direction and connect to her head. Yeah, and I'm going to go past her head and that way we can draw her ear underneath. Now I'm going to draw that same line over here, up, down, and connect. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like an S line on its side. Yeah, now on each side, let's draw her ears. I'm gonna draw a little J line on each side. Good, and if you want, you could draw earrings. Yay. <laughs> I know you always like drawing earrings just as much as drawing eyelashes. <laughs> Good yes. job, now she looks really pretty. <laughs> now we're gonna finish her hair at the end after we draw her body. So let's come down here, we're gonna draw two lines coming down from her chin. Yeah, now we're gonna draw a V to connect those two lines. And I'm gonna draw another V right above that for her belt. Okay, now what does Supergirl have on her costume? She has an S. Yeah, she has an S. We're gonna just draw the shield or the, 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 the shape. We're not gonna draw the whole S because it's a little tricky. So we're gonna draw two lines down we're just going to draw the, the big shape. We're going to draw a V to connect those two. And we're going to leave it just like that. And if you want, you could draw the extra details for the S inside. Okay, now let's draw her dress, the skirt. We're going to draw two lines that come out on each side. I like skirts. You like skirts. I know you do. Now we're going to connect these two lines with a curve, bumpy line that goes all the way over and connects. Good job. Now we're going to draw her arms. We're going to draw a curve that comes out and it's like a raindrop and then it comes back in. It's going to look chubby. <laughs> <laughs> we're drawing a cartoon version. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> now we can draw an arm that comes out on the side also. <laughs> now let's draw two lines on each of her arms for her wrist. And that's for her sleeves. Bracelets or sleeves. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw her legs. We're going to draw a curve that comes down and then back up, kind of like her arms. And then I'm going to draw another one right next to that one. It looks like she's in ballet. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> now, we could draw two upside down Vs or A shapes, A lines that go on her legs for her boots. Boots. Yeah. 
Okay, what should we draw next? Her cape. Her cape. Right here, I'm gonna draw a line that comes out, now off to the side. And then I'm gonna draw another line over here that comes down. She has spaghetti in her armpits. <laughs> now we're gonna connect these two lines, but we need to go behind her legs. So we're gonna draw a curve, curvy line that goes, connects to her leg. We're gonna imagine it going behind, connecting to her other leg, and then coming up and connecting to that line. Yay! We did it! Oh, it's, her cape looks really good. Okay, now what is she missing? Her hair. Yeah, she's missing her hair. Now you have more room over here, so let's draw her hair blowing off to the right, and I'm gonna draw her hair blowing off to the left. Okay. So we're gonna draw it a little bit different on each of ours. So I'm gonna draw a big curve that's gonna come up around and then connect down to her arm. So it looks like a sideways U and you could draw, start here, draw a sideways U that comes out over here. Okay. So start on her arm. Yep. Come around. Yes. And then, and then kind of off to the side. Yeah, blowing off to the side. Good. And I'm going to do that same thing too. I'm going to draw her hair coming, coming off to the side. Okay, now let's draw a zigzag line coming back to her body. So we're gonna draw in, come back out, back in, and then I'm gonna draw one more, a little one coming out. So it looks like a sideways W. So you can go in, back out, back in, and then come back out one more time. Good, looks like a W, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go back into her cape. Good, and then right here, I'm gonna connect in between her arm and her cape on this side. So right there. Now it looks like she's flying because her hair is blowing off to the side. Like her floating. Yeah, she's floating. Okay, now up here, let's add a few more lines in her hair. So I'm gonna draw some curves that come out and you could curve the other direction. And I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw a curve going this way too. I'm gonna add one more curve right here. And I'm gonna add another curve over here on this side. Now we could even add curves down here by her ear. And if you want, you don't have to make these curves look exactly like ours. You could use your own creativity and add your own texture to her hair. Yes. Now I'm gonna add some over here too. All right, Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing Supergirl, and I love how yours turned out, except we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color her. Yeah, she's gonna look so much better once we color her. Now this part, we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys composite it to match the same color. Mm -hmm. All right, Hadley, we did it. We finished coloring Supergirl, and yours turned out super cute. Yes. <laughs> I especially love her earrings, and I love that you made her mouth open. She looks even happier. Now, you guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. You can also use your imagination to finish the background. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could draw a city back there. What else could you draw in the background? The sky with the clouds and the sun. Yeah, you could draw her way up in the sky, mm -hmm. really high. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your superhero. Yes, you do. We hope you had a lot of fun. Remember, it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like ours because the most important thing... To have fun. Yes, to have fun and to practice. Now, we still need to feature two artists today, don't we? Yes. Who's the first featured artist? Noah. Noah is 10 years old and look at all of his drawings. Whoa. He did a great job on all of his Pokemon, huh? Mm-hmm. And he also drew some Lego characters over here. Yes. What's your favorite character? Unikitty. Unikitty? <laughs> That's my favorite too. <laughs> you did a great job on Unikitty. And also, I really like Fennekin. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Noah, on being our first featured artist. We're gonna send you $20 to your email so you can buy more art supplies on Amazon. Now our second featured artist is... Bruce. Bruce, and buckle up. Look at all those drawings. <laughs> that is a lot of art, isn't it? Mm -hmm. He did so much art. Now, Bruce is 12 years old and it looks like he's been drawing for a long time. Yeah. Okay, now, here's a tricky question. What's your favorite drawing out of all of his art? The watermelon. The watermelon. <laughs> I really like the hot chocolate too, and also the elf down here in the bottom. 
but all of his drawings are super amazing. He's a great artist, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Bruce, on being our second featured artist. We're going to send you $20 also to buy more art supplies. Yes. Now, if you haven't sent us your art yet, be sure to have your parents take a photo of your art and email it to us. What's our email address? Myart at artforkidshub.com. Yes, myart at artforkidshub.com. <laughs> And we do this every week on Monday, so be sure to send us art each week. Now we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Show your art. 